On September 29, 2003, Ryan Jones was injured playing high school football. A ripped brain vessel caused by high-velocity impact resulted in massive bleeding inside Ryan's skull. Prospects for Ryan's survival were grim, but surgery saved Ryan's life. In a coma post-operatively, Ryan suffered a stroke and required a second surgery. He remained in a coma for an extended period and was transferred to the world-famous Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, where he remained for the balance of 78 days. When Ryan finally awoke from his coma, other than raising one hand and opening his eyes, he could not move, talk, or remember. He could not eat, being fed through a tube. As time passed, Ryan continued to have severe short and long-term memory problems, not being able to remember things from just minutes ago. After being released from the hospital, Ryan's therapy required him to relearn virtually everything. I can remember driving in the car with Ryan, telling him, that is a telephone pole, that is a stop sign, this is called an intersection. Prior to the injury, Ryan's IQ had been measured at 158. Ryan's story is filled with unbelievable courage, commitment, and hard work. Ryan Jones is truly a miracle. Ryan would love to tell his story, but he must first become connected to the right people who can help that happen. I would like you to now meet Ryan Jones. How are you doing today, Ryan? I'm doing wonderful, Father. How about you? Good, good. Just tell us your story. Uh, my story? Yeah, tell us a little bit about what happened to you uh, back in 2003. September 29th of 03, um, I was playing for Tri-Valley football, and sure, in the, in, in, the game was, uh, in the game was against our Travels Leroy, you know, rivalry, you know. Sure. And, um, and what happened was, um, actually in the third quarter, I went to my good friend Gavin Dunlop, and I said, I'm not feeling too hot, Gavin, I'm going down. And right then, the left triple low of my brain exploded, fell down, snapped my back, I went into convulsions. See, see me like, uh, uh, you know, and, and 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 after that, I stopped breathing on the football field, you know. And so, how many days in the hospital were you? Were, were you? I was in the hospital for 78 days, and another crazy thing about that, 78 was actually my football number too, you know. <laughs> right. Yep. So this is where you live here, right here. Yes. Mm -hmm. 20, 23 East Jackson, apartment <laughs> number one, because that's what I am, number one. <laughs> right. So tell us about your injuries. When you started to recover, is it true that you couldn't walk, talk? I couldn't walk, talk, eat the whole nine yards, you know. And, and after that, I was in COVID 16 days, and um, my, my brain turned in. Dr. Ann, uh, Dr. Ann Stroink, you know, the, the, the neurologist. Um, well, um, uh, she, uh, she told my mother and my father, um, I have a 3% chance out of 100 to make it through the night, you know. 3% out of 100. You know? So what is your, what's your message to people? I mean, why would you be a good motivational speaker? You can overcome anything, no matter what, my friends. You can overcome anything. I guarantee it. What's the main message that you have for people? And when the wall came come, crumbling down, you know what I did? One brick, another brick. One brick, another brick. And you know what? I, go, I built it all the way back up. And you know what? I, I, I overcame it, and so can you, know, my friends. So can you, know. Definitely. And you know what? Impossible is nothing. And, and the second thing, never, never quit ever. Do not quit ever, you know. Literally, you, yourself, can overcome anything you want to do, you know. And sure, if, 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 you can, if you can dream it, you can do it. So do you feel like you could do a 20-minute presentation in front of people? Oh, definitely. Uh, uh, oh, only 20 minutes for sure, yeah. I'm happy to, you know. Be my pleasure and my honor. Literally, I can do this. I've overcome so much, you know. I, you know, I, I was basically dead in 03, but but I'm back here now. So I got a sword to tell, and, and definitely, I, I know I can help people, and, and I know I can do this. Please do, my friends. Give me a chance. Please do.